Hello, this is Mike Lively, and welcome to SQL Server Express 2008 Management Studio. Today we're going to become familiar with this uh, software and learn how to use it a little bit, how to gain information from it, and uh, look at how to create databases and how to run a query. And uh, so if you want to look at the outline of what's going to happen today, we're going to use it as a management tool and open connect and look at the Object Explorer and the Object Explorer details and template. We're going to use the right click uh, trick, which is going to be our best friend, and look at backup, uh, policies, reports, disk usage. We're going to run two types of queries, one from the Management Studio and one from the command line. And uh, we're going to actually drill down to the other folders and learn how to use that right click trick to gain more information. Now, I want to say this is very important from the beginning. Watch out. It's danger Will Robertson because you are a red hot when you're working in this management studio. And if you change a database or delete a table, it's going to be gone permanently. So be very careful as you're working in the management studio with live databases. You can really cause havoc. So if you remember earlier, I pinned it in my start menu bar. And I'm going to go to that in the menu bar and just click on it. Up comes the SQL Server Management tool, which is a beautiful tool. I love this tool. And go ahead and hit Connect. And we've connected locally. We use the uh, period to do that with. I'm going to move this over so you can see the entire SQL Server Management tool. And uh, one of the things you can notice right away, we're in what's called here the Explorer window, and just where you explore things. And we have our databases here, as we showed before. And let's click on that, and we'll open up our databases. But we have more than just databases here. We also have security and logins. You can actually look at the roles that people play below that, server roles. And it gives you lots of information about people. Now, also, along with this, you can go to View and hit Explore Details. And you get a lot more details about what's going on with your databases and the systems that you're working with. Now, in addition to this uh, Details View, one of my favorite uh, tools here in the View is the Template Explorer. And in the Template Explorer, there's just literally hundreds of lines of pre-written code for you. So, for example, if you want to create a database, you can come right here to Databases and go Create Database, open that up. By double clicking, you see the code's already written for you. You just have to fill in the template without even thinking about it. I just love this stuff. And here's another one, for example, if I want to do a login. All I have to do is go down to the login software and click on create login system user. And there's a the code for that. So there's just literally just hundreds of code snippets here that can help you out as you write SQL code for your database management system. Now I'd like to turn my attention to actually working with the databases. So here's the AdventureWorks database and the AdventureWorks Lite database. Sometimes I use that when I'm working with things. But if I right-click on the database right there, there's lots of information that I can use. Once again, right-click is going to be your best friend. You can create a new database. You can create a new query. You can script a database. You can see its policies. You can actually uh, see reports on the database and rename it or refresh. And just, just a lots of cool stuff here. Let's take a look at reports, for example. Standard reports and disk usage, for example. Let's click on that. You'll get a nice graphic. As you can see from this, I actually see the actual disk usage of my database, which can be very useful, especially as your database begins to expand and gets heavy. And you may seek to solve issues with it. Uh, let's right click again. You can do other stuff. You can click View, Categories, Evaluate. And if you go look at reports, once again, just bring up the disk usage by tables. And you can actually see how much uh, usage per table is being done. So if a table is actually growing in a way that you don't expect it to, you can actually look at it here and figure out what's going on. So uh, this is a very powerful tool. And uh, just by right-clicking, you actually can find lots of information. Of course, if I wanted to create a new database, I could just go Databases and right-click on that and go New Database. And just give it a name. I'll call it My New Database. And voila, hit OK, and I've got a database. And there you can see right there at the bottom is My New Database. Now, if you... Uh, open that up, you can see I already have all those programs, you know, database diagrams, tables, views, cinnamons, uh, programmability, and so forth. And all that comes from basically the model database that we talked about before. Inside of all these databases, if you open up the system databases, you see you have this model, and it's modeling off of that. Uh, I'm going to go to AdventureWorks, and we're going to take a look at um, AdventureWorks, that one right there. I'm going to right-click on that, or kind of, I'm going to open that up, and you see there are database diagrams. I'm actually going to create some database diagrams. This is a very cool tool. We're going to be using this to create databases, and I'm going to right-click on this, and I'm going to go New Database Diagram. You see, each time I drill down, I have different options, and just that right-click will get me where I need to go. And that's why this tool is so cool, because just by right-clicking, you can actually maneuver, manipulate, and create things very rapidly. So you may get a message the first time you do this. Now let's go to a database I haven't uh, looked at before. Let's right click on this database here and see I haven't uh, actually called this diagram up before and you can see I get this message. 
This database does not have one or more supported objects required to use database diagram. Do you wish to create them? And you hit yes, and then you actually could create that database. So we'll hit no, and we'll go back to AdventureWorks. So that's that's the one I want to actually look at. I just want to show you that the message you might be getting, don't be alarmed. Just click yes. Yeah. So we're going to go to AdventureWorks, open that up. So what I want to do actually is take a look at the database diagram. So I'm going to right-click on this and hit New Database Diagrams. And I'm just going to uh, add them all. So here's all the tables that actually exist in the particular database. And if I hit Add, it adds them one by one. But I could actually just use a shift a click, and I'm going to do that and just add all the databases at once. There's a lot of databases here. It's going to take a little bit of time to populate. But one of the cool things it's going to do is show all the connections between those databases as well. So we've added all our databases. We're going to hit the close item here, and you can see it's really beautiful. I just love this environment. I'm going to hit 50% to bring this down in size. So you can actually bring the size of your uh, view down. And you can see now it's, and some of them are connected and some of them are not. And the, the relational connections are shown here by these diagrams. Now, I could come along, and maybe it's late at night, and I, I don't need all these databases on the screen. So I could right-click on this one, for example, and I could go, I just want to remove it from the diagram. Yes, that's great. And I don't need this one either. It's, it's kind of in the way. So I'm going to remove this, but it's late at night, and I, have to, and I accidentally hit Delete Table from Database. That's bad. When you do that, it really messes things up. So be very careful, because once again, like I said, Danger Will Robertson, you're in danger here. So make sure you're very careful about what you do when you're in this system, especially with so many resources and money involved in actually these large database systems. And you see all the diagramming here is just beautiful. And we'll be getting into this and how to create a database right in this tool. And uh, we'll be doing that shortly. So once you've done that, I just want to show you that was a diagramming. And you can X save that diagram or you can X out of it. Let's X out of it. And ask if you want to save. We won't save this one. And we can go to tables, for example. It shows you all the tables that are involved here. And you can actually right click on a table, for example, and actually get more details. Once again, you see the same thing where there's lots of information. I can say edit the top 200 rows, for example. And all the data for the top 200 rows will come in. I can actually edit that data. Isn't it fantastic? So there's a lot of information here and lots you can do with it. We're not going to get into all of it today, but we'll. We but we will as this course proceeds. Those are the top two I wanted to look at here, and we'll be using those more. Actually, what I want to do right now is actually run a query. And I, I'm going to take a look at this database right here, and I'm going to look at some of the tables here. And there's a lot of human resources tables here. I'm specifically going to look at the department table, for example. So what I'm going to do is actually click on that database, and when I do, I'm going to hit the Query button up here. New Query. Now, I could have also accessed that by right-clicking here and going New Query. No problem. Same thing. And what you see is immediately in this little box right here, you see the database you're going to query. If you don't want to query this database, you want to put something else in. So this actually has brought up the language right here. I can actually start putting my TSQL in here and actually querying this database. I've copied some into the lecture slide. Let's go ahead and cut and paste that to make things a little faster. Now, if you're familiar with your SQL language, you know we're going to select uh, the star, which means we're going to select all the tables from the actual database of VentureWorks. Uh, from Human Resources Department. Now, one thing that uh, SQL Server does, it, which is fantastic, is it introspects the, the value. So if I click here and I start Add AdventureWorks, I'll go A, D. You can see AdventureWorks popped up eventually for me. And this is enabled by this tab. It's called IntelliSense Enabled. So you click on that. And the next thing I wanted to do was look at Human Resources. You can see it's already come up for me, so click on that. And the next thing was, what, Department, so click on that. So I'm now going to query that table. I should get all the rows back from that table. So when I run this query by hitting Execute or F5 on the keyboard, then it brings back all the tables. There you go. Very cool. Now I can also do this same thing from the command line. So if you're command line nuts, you can do that. Uh, let's go ahead and do that from the command line. And the way we're going to do that is that we're going to hit SQL CMD. All right, let's go and do that. I'm going to put the same code in there. So come along here and go in this line right here. SQL CMD, and up comes the SQL command line. And we're going to type select star or wildcard from, make sure you spell everything right, adventureworks.humanresources.department. And we're going to hit go. You can see I made a mistake here. I put human resources, so let's do it again. And change that to human. Now I used the up arrow key basically to get the get it back, so I didn't have to type it in again and just take away the human resources. But human resources, right? And then we'll put go, and it should give us our query. And there's all the tables right there. Not as well organized as the Management Studio, but uh, definitely it's the same data. But we'll be using the Management Studio instead because it's a lot cleaner, a lot nicer, and you can actually develop a lot more rapidly. At least from my standpoint of view. Uh, in the management studio than you can in than you can from the command line. 
So that's how you run the uh, SQL queries. And once again, as you go to these different tables, you can actually drill down in these tables and right click on those as well and look at the uh, 100 rows, views, index policies. And uh, just remember as you work through these examples that if you get stuck, just right click. Okay. And that's pretty much all I had to say. It's a nice introduction to using the uh, Management Studio. And next time, I'm going to give you a motivation for creating databases, a little bit of e-commerce, and we're going to start creating our own databases. So see you next time. Thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively.